me let me just introduce myself i have been solving daily lead code problem since august 2020 over past 2 years we have solved more than 850 problems and to be specific we have got 18 monthly batches that means we have solved 540 problems without fail not we have not missed even a single day the subscribers of coding decoded are well aware of it and if you want to achieve your dreams if you want to be part of that fang league then first thing that you need to do is to build consistency for which you need to solve daily lead code problems so what are you waiting for go and click the subscribe button and i promise we will grow together welcome aboard to coding decoded as i usually do now let's quickly move on to the presentation where i'll explain you the question as well as the algorithm so here they have provided us with an example i'll be walking you through the same example in the video uh, as per the question what do we need to do we need to identify the good node count that exists in the binary tree and how do you define whether a node is a good node or not a node is said to be a good node if from the path starting from the root to that particular node there are no nodes that have a greater value than that of that particular node what i'm trying to say let's try and understand it by the same example so here they have given us a binary tree and all those nodes that are you are seeing in light blue color which is this 3 4 5 and 3 are said to be good nodes what is the total good node count it turns out to be 4 that means the final answer corresponding to this particular binary tree is 4 and how do we identify whether a node is a good node or not we have to look at the path starting from the root up till that node and how we have to check Uh, whether there is a node in between that path which has a greater value than that particular node which is which is currently into consideration if there is a no node that has a greater value then we can say that that particular node happens to be a good node so let's try and understand it by the same example let's start the iteration right now we are at the root and since root is under consideration it's always going to be a good node so the good node count gets updated to 1 now we will be traversing in two directions one towards the right and other one towards the left so we are basically doing a dfs kind of a traversal so let's shoot for the left side first and right now we are at this particular one so the path and the consideration would be these two nodes and if you carefully analyze do we have any node that has a greater value than one in this path yes it is there is which is 3 since 3 has a greater value than one we will say that this node is not a good node so far so good Let's shoot for the right part now, and let me just change the color of pen. And uh, the node under consideration turns out to be four. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to identify the path uh, uh, landing up till four. And there are two nodes under consideration, three and four. So, do we have any node in this path three and four wherein the value of that node is greater than four? No, there is no such path. No, no such node. That means this node. that is 4 happens to be a good node so let's update the good node count to 2 and look at more node present in the binary tree so we'll be doing a dfs traversal starting from this node and uh, how many children are there there only one child that two towards left so let's move towards left and the entire path in the consideration comes out to be this one that i'm just highlighting with blue color so the node under consideration turns out to be this particular node and uh, do we have any node that has a greater value than 3 in this entire path no there is no such node that means this node happens to be a good node so the, let's update the good count to 3 so far we have identified three good nodes there are no more left or right child 3 is a leaf node let's proceed back to the rest of the nodes so the next node that we have happens to be this 5 and let's look at the path starting from the root uh, till over here so how many nodes are there 3 4 and 5 in total are there and the node under consideration happens to be 5 do we have a node that has greater value than 5 no it's not there as a result of which this node happens to be a good node so let's update this count to 4 and what node is left now there is only one node left which is this one so let's iterate over the path starting from the root up till this node with somewhere somewhat on these lines 3 4 and 1 do we have any node that has the value greater than 1 in this entire path there are two such nodes 3 and 4 as a result of which this node is not a good node so what is the final uh, good node count the final good node count happens to be 4 now comes the concern how can we algorithmize this up so we will be moving in the dfs fashion starting from the root node to the children node and along with this we'll keep track of two variables the first one is good node count which will basically give you the good node count 
with the final answer that we need to return so a good node count g and c and along with this we'll also keep track of the maximum value that we have seen so far during the traversal so how many paths does exist starting from the root to the leaf node the first one is this the second one is this and the third one is this one so let's start the iteration right now the good node count happens to be zero and the node under consideration happens to be three three being the root of the binary tree will always be a good node because there are no node that has a greater value than three in the path traverse so far as a result of which let's update the good node count to one and now let's move on to two directions one the left, left direction and another one the right direction so let's go one by one Along with this, we'll also pass an information to the child nodes that what is the maximum value seen so far along the traversal. So the maximum value seen so far happens to be three. So three gets passed on to the child node and we will make a comparison between this three and one, the current node into consideration along this path till for this path and the current node value is one. One is lower than three as a result of which this is not a good node. Secondly, we will move towards the rest of the nodes starting from one. So which is that node? This is that node and the path under consideration becomes this. We will we'll be passing the maximum value seen so far to the child node. So three gets passed on to the child node and we make a comparison between these two values. The current node value under consideration, which is three is three equal to or greater than three. Yes, it is equal to three as a result of which this node happens to be a good node as a result of which we will update the good node count to 2 which is in sync with our expectation. So along this path there are two good nodes first one is this and second one is this. Let's move towards the other part of the tree and let me just change the color of pen and the part under consideration turns out to be this one again uh, the node under consideration happens to be 4 and we will be passing the maximum node value that we have seen so far to the child node. The maximum seen value so far is 3. So 3 gets passed on to the child node out of 3 and 4. Which one is the greater value? 4 is a greater value. Since 4 is greater, this node happens to be a good node. We will update the good node count to 3. And let's do the same thing for the rest of the nodes as well. So we will pass in the maximum value seen so far to the child node. 4 gets passed over here and we make a comparison between 1 and 4. 1 is lower in value than 4 as a result of it this is not a good node. Again let's pass the value 4 onto the child node and the node under consideration turns out to be 5. Out of 4 and 5 which one is the which one is greater value? 5 is greater value as a result of it this node happens to be a good node and the path under consideration is this one. 5 holds the maximum value therefore this gets updated to 4 and how many good nodes have we seen so far? across the entire traversal. Four such nodes exist, three, four, five, three. This is in sync with our expectation and we can quickly wrap up the entire algorithm. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section. So this is a code logic guys. We have created good node count initialized to zero, started iterating in the DFS fashion. The DFS fashion has two variables or two parameters in its invocation. The first one is node under consideration and the second one is the max value seen so far. Since at the base level, the max value would be equal to root, uh, root dot val. So we have passed root dot val over here. And in case my node is null, we abort the process. In case my node dot val is greater than equal to the maximum value seen so far, we increment the good node count, update the max variable, and we iterate in the left, uh, left towards the left child. If it is not null, otherwise we move towards the right child. If it is not null, and we pass in the max value that has been updated over here to the, towards the child operations. And let's try and submit this up. Accepted. Uh, I'm connected to VPN. That's why it is uh, slower. However, the time complexity of this approach is order of n because each node will be traversed only once and the space complexity is equal to log n that is equal to the depth of the binary tree. The credit for this solution goes to two folks. The first one is uh, Denizil. Uh, he has submitted a solution on coding decoded github repo in C++ and this is quite a similar solution however the language chosen by him is C++ he regularly codes in C++ and uh, raises the pull request over here uh, which I approve and review the question review the solutions and once I feel it, it can be merged into master I myself do it out similarly 
uh, Saurabh has submitted the solution in Java. So let's walk through his solution as well. Actually, my solution was inspired by his solution. He has not mentioned this as a private variable. So the interviewer might, might catch uh, you on this. So it's a good recommendation to state this variable as private. And that's the only thing for the only feedback that I had. And thanks Aurav for submitting the solution in Java. I really appreciate uh, the effort you guys are making. Uh, Saurav and Denzel towards coding decoded github repo it's helping millions of developers out there uh, keeping track of the solutions of daily lead code problem over here with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye